morning guys welcome back to the channel right we are at a, another property and we are doing a board change and load of other stuff but we are doing as always our ERCR first to see where we're at so we've got a lovely little garden office so I just thought oh, this is, so I've got three distribution boards to test out there's the main house this one and the garage so we're just going to rattle through those um, and I thought I'd just go through how I go about doing all the testing and things like that um, but yeah so today's video is sponsored by Tradify so for those of you who don't know what Tradify is it's a job management software and it is something that is a game changer for us as a company now for those of you who do not realize that our company we are predominantly a construction company but we have every different aspect of the construction industry covered so we've got plumbing we've got electrical plastering uh, brick laying carpentry you know all that sort of stuff so that is why we use tradeify because it covers all those bases you set it up once it just speeds things up so much so so much so do what i did there's a 14 day free trial like i say it doesn't cost you anything free trial and once you've got on with that if you put in the promo code ghawk50 you'll get three months at 50 percent um and you can't say fairer than that can you so give them a check check them out honestly you will not regret it so let's get stuck into the job um let's show you around it so let's get in here so it's a bit dark in here so hopefully that will sort itself out so layout in here we've got the distribution board like i said it's fed from the main board up the up the house so it's isolated up there it's fed by a uh, 32 um, mcv um, so we've got in this room we've got four sockets so we've got one two uh, three four in the corner light switch center light and that is basically it so there you go test done drive by eicr sweet happy days yeah right so We've got the armoured supply, comes into the building like that. So it comes in there like so. We've also got a network that runs up to, to this point, which is which is fine. But this is the supply. So that is it. Waving all the way down the path to the house over there. So not really a very good installation method, that is it. So it's not fixed, it's flapping about in the wind, so it's another job for us to sort out. So let's just have a quick look out the back, see if there's anything I didn't know. This this summer house could have been massive, could have been way bigger than that. So if I own that, that's what that would that would be like right back here, straight across. But you know, such is life. Right, so let's get in have a closer look at the board. So for those of you who've subscribed. Thank you very much. For those of you who haven't, hit the link in the corner for me. I am trying to get to 10, 10K uh, for Christmas. Haven't got long. Are you gonna help me on that journey? I hope you do. Um, Cause I love making YouTube videos, to be honest. It's for those of you who don't know why I got into doing YouTube and it isn't for the money. Everyone thinks that you're gonna be a millionaire overnight. It's not. I did it because I make no bones about it. I suffer with mental health, and it's something I've I I start in the in the first lockdown. Let's let's be honest. In the first lockdown, it reared its ugly head, and again, uh, and I needed an outlet. So this is what it is. This is my outlet. So this is why I do it, and I love making the videos. And I and for those of you who have been with me from the very very start for subscribers. Honestly, thank you very much. You're so, so, so humbling, to be fair. So, that said, links in the corner if you fancy it. Uh, and I just try and promote a lot of people just to talk and be open about mental health struggles because it is rife at the minute. And there's a lot, especially in our industry, I don't understand. I, somebody told me the other day it's the second uh, highest suicide rate is in construction industry in the UK and what a oh, what a statistic and you potentially could save somebody else's life just by picking up the phone and because let's face it you know your friends 
don't send them a text message, pick up the phone and just have a quick chat. So that, that's it. I just wanted to, to get that out there. Right, so board. Sorry, that was a bit of a downer, wasn't it? So back to the job. So board, right, what we've got here, we've got a little garage board, a uh, little two-way. Um, now, like we can see, we've got a mix and match going on. One of the reasons why you can't go about doing that is because that Hager on there has never been designed to go into this square D garage board. And you can see why. It doesn't, it doesn't go on the DIN rail at all. It doesn't go on. So the only thing that's holding that in place is the buzz bar at the bottom. So again, not designed, and that is a clear and a very good example of why not to do that. This house seems to be like they've had a lot of other different bits and bobs done to it, and I can't work out whether it's the electrician's done it or a DIYer. I, I, can't, I can't gather it, I can't sort of figure it out. So in here, I've got my earth in, okay? So Jack's at college today, that's why he's, he's skiving. Um, he came and tested out the supply to this. So my supply to it is the readings are okay. But I said to Jack, right, is that okay? What's what's missing? And he says, oh, I've got no earth in there. And I says, okay, that's fine. But is that okay? And he says, he says, well, no. I said, but it's okay if it's earthed at the other end. It's not earthed there either. What they've actually done, I'll try and put a photo up around here somewhere of what they've actually done. Um, and hopefully if I've, managed to get the photo up, you'll see that they've put the banjo on, but what they've done, they've drilled the hole through the casement, and then they've just used a red raw plug. I have no idea, and they've not only done it for that one, they've done it for the garage supply as well, so no idea why they've done that. So anyway, so let's get stuck into the testing. So, as always, I drop the fronts, have an inspection on there. Now I've got no earth flying lead on these metal uh, sockets. So that's that's one thing. Now looking at this, I've got a. It comes down to here. Now I can't, and then they just pop up. Okay, so I don't know whether they are in conduit all the way underneath. They clipped underneath. Might be. They might be in conduit that's run all the way round. It's not likely now because of the way that this uh, trim's on at the bottom of the skirting board, sorry. So I don't really know. So I'm hoping that it tests out okay. But the homeowner has said if it fails, they don't use this room, we can just cut it off. Um, which would be a crying shame because I think it would make a lovely little room. So we're going to get our R1, R2 sorted on there. I'll try and get this all on film for you. Okay, right, so it's all dead, okay, so I know it's all dead, it's all isolated off. So the other thing with this, it's tight, really, really tight for space in here. So it isn't the easiest. So the other thing that they've got is there's no real, I mean, look at that, that's fell off, okay. So that's the only bit of indicator that they've got to let me know that they've used the gray uh, as their earthing conductor. So that's gone. So. It's one thing I don't like about these square Ds, and this is why I never use them, is that they got, so you've got your normal Phillips screwdriver uh, head on these, and then you've got a flat blade, really annoying. So using our flying leads on there. So we'll rip round now and get all these tested. So in theory, in in theory, if I knew where my last one was, so if I knew where my last one was, I could go straight there, but I, 
I don't know because I've not installed it. Um, Oh, that's another little thing. I don't know whether anyone knows about that. So on my Mega, you've got your plug-in tester. Now, we've got uh, volts on the, the van and stuff like that. So I just use that key and just bridge that across to null the lead out. That's, that's basically, I found the, the easiest way to, to do that. So we've done that socket. Uh, and that socket now. 0.08, so. I tend to find it's better to do both because I've got, like there's a classic example, I have 0.08 in one side uh, and the other side I've got 0.15 I had. So let's rip through. Spin you around. Sorry, guys. Point four six. Four five. So we've got that R1, R2 at 0.46. Uh, so we'll just enter that in now. I I now I'm entering it every time because it just, I'm gonna be honest, I used to do it on a, basically a bit, which sounds really crap. And I'm not the only one, let's be honest. You write on a scrap bit of paper or a note, notepad or whatever. And now I just tend to find this just works so much easier. So much easier doing it straight away. Um, so I don't know when that light, whether you'll be better that way. Let's see. Is that better for you guys? Is that better? So we've done our R1, R2. So we need our insulation resistance test. Now, I just hate tight little boards like this, they're just naff. The other thing to note about this is that it's, because obviously it's cold and it's been getting, it's been like this for quite some time, it's quite um, like corroded as well, like the, the actual terminals here, I've got like a, a crusty coating on them, like a furring as such. Oxidisation. Let's go with that. That's probably what it actually is. Oh, oh that was a pain. So testing at 500 volts and room like this, if everything's perfect, should be 999. Okay, which that is. And then just cycle through 999. Yeah, 999 lot. So on that insulation resistance there, it's passed out passed out okay. So that being said, I what I would next do now, next do now, is I take the rest of these fronts off. There's only four, but I'm pretty much certain that none of them are going to be earthed on there, like this one. So I'll then put that back in place 
that's done for because I'm literally just testing. I'm not doing any repair work or anything at the minute. I'm just compiling a list. So, like for example, on here now, so we know that's all okay. Um, I've now come out of this screen and go onto my notes and write down all the notes that I'm finding on in the house as I'm going. And that way, it's a lot easier for me because. I've got to change the main board in the house, but it's just easier for me to keep track of everything. Again, that I'm not on scrap pieces of paper because it drives me mad. Um, so, Okay, and come back out of it, and then I want to the lighting circuit now. So, what I'll do, I'll whip these fronts off. We'll have a look at those, uh, and then we'll I'll put these back in here, and then I'll catch up with you once you've got uh, once I'm ready for testing this light out. So I think it's important to say that you when you're testing out a radial circuit you should be able to find out where your last point is because realistically it should be your highest result which is was that one in the corner so i've whipped all these off and yeah i was right to be honest that the there's no earth flying leads to the actual face plates which is a requirement because you've got it's obviously a, a metal um enclosure and things like that so it needs to be earth so so that's Basically, it's like, so that's another little thing, isn't it? Just to make sure that that's done properly. So, right, so we're onto the lights now. So the other point, you need to make sure that you count up your number of points. That is very, very important. Now, in some properties and EICRs, you, you just physically can't do it. You don't know, there's stuff hidden all over the place. So you try your best. But what I would do is put it in your comments that you, you no furniture has been removed and things like that just to sort of cover yourself because what will happen like in here you've got no excuse have you let's be honest there's no furniture in here there's nothing to hide in here so there is no excuse so you need to put down there is on that radial circuit there is four points unless there's something outside but there is four points okay the reason behind that it's so important that you do that so it's on your certificate so let's say the new people buy this house and they come in and they go, electrics, electrics is easy. I can do that, well easy. They come in and they go, right, I want another socket there. So I want another socket next to that and I'm gonna run that outside um, and then I'm gonna plug my extension lead in and then little Timmy's gonna be playing down there and gets hurt, okay? You come back and go, hang on, whoa, whoa, hang on. Let's just get my certificate up here. Let's get that up. I've got four points. Why is that? That's not on there. That's not been tested. So that's one of the reasons why it's so important to do that. Um, it just covers yourself. If you're not quite sure on something, you think, oh, it's not quite right, put it on the certificate. Raise it. Raise that issue. Get it all in writing. That's the key. So, right, so we're on this lighting circuit now. So, again, number of points. So we have above us we have got this uh this light up here i don't even know what i'm pointing at there so we've got we've got the light above our heads okay so we've got that's a little bar light so we need to take the lamps out of there uh, is that the only light we've got in here yeah yeah of course it is it's the only light well i've got a two gang switch what is that for so oh okay outside light in there definitely outside light so Above here, we've got our outside light with the PIR. We've also got some twinning earth coming out. So is that appropriate? Not really. Um, there's a bit of a gray area with that. Pardon the pun with the gray cable. Bit of a gray area for that one for me. I hate using, like looking at twinning earth outside, but in the eyes of an EICR, 
you've got to take into these factors into account is has it got any adverse effects is it cracked is it weathered is any of the inner cores exposed or the rest of it but really let's be honest it's crap There's, don't use twin and earth outside what's wrong with you what's wrong with people doing that i mean here couldn't be any easier i mean you've got the run here and they could have just changed from there into some flex or something there's just anything so that for me is rubbish no excuse for it and also it won't have terminated properly in the back of that light in for the stuffing gland because it just won't I'll, I'll put money on it so that being said let's get on with this so i'll put our links on this one here so we've got we're going to do our r1 r2 so we're going to whip that um Let's see if I can stick you on the, on the shelf. It's a handy shelf. Here. Beautiful. So we're going to take the uh, light switch off on here and see what we've got. Yeah, again, not earthed. So, let's see what we're up against. Okay, I've got 0.24, I might as well leave that off for a minute. So let's jump up onto the light. I don't know whether you can see that. Right, you might as well take your lamps out now. So you need to take your lamps out because you'll get an adverse um, reading with it when you do the insulation resistance. That's snapped off that. Anyway, so another important part, because that's just welded its well way in. Let's see how this little beauty's been wired in. So it's earthed as well, which is good because obviously it's metal light fitting. Go get the old pliers on that. Right, so we're at the um, outside light with the it's got PIR on it. So the cable itself looks like it's not got any adverse effect as such. Okay, so it's just really important to remove it from the fitting because on our next test we're going to be doing insulation resistance. Now that will pick it up. Having having that uh, PIR in there will give me a false reading. So now I've disconnected that and the lights, we can now do our IR test on here. So let's see what we've got on, on this. This is where we need Jack as a cameraman, don't we? Don't see. It's trying to trying to get all these on while well, you're holding it. Right. 
Okay, we're off. We're off. We're ready. So same as same as the last time. Is making sure you've got a good connection on there. Right. Press and hold the test. And we've got nine 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 again. Okay. And move, move over to the other side. Nine nine nine. And once more. Okay. We've got 999 on there. So again, another circuit done. Just got to put that back, connect that light back up as it was, put the light switch back on. Um, because it's just a real shame that they've not done it because they've, you know, it looks neat enough. You know, it's not particularly old, the installation. So why have they not just put a flying lead out to the faceplate? I don't, I don't get it. It's the same in the actual house, actually. All the sockets and stuff outside, are, uh, outside in the actual house are all the same they've all got uh, nice metallic fittings and they're not cheap either they are nice but they none of them are actually uh, earthed at all not one and I find that bizarre so just double check on the outside of the property now making sure well, the office making sure there isn't any sneaky little power points outside no other lights things like that so there's not because it's important if you miss one hey you, that might be the one that burns the place down you don't know so i'll get these built back up get the light back on um and then we'll jump on to doing our live testing okay so we're now coming on to doing our rcd testing okay so <sighs> They don't really want you to be working live where possible. So in this scenario, we've got sockets that we can use. It's got an RCD main switch here, so that's great. So we, we can put the board cover back on. We haven't got to test and have any potential risk of getting an electric shock. Now, let's be honest, if this was an RCBO board, 100% we're gonna be doing it that way. It's just gonna be straight onto all the top of the RCBOs and just rattle through. That's, that's fact, you're gonna do that. So you need to make sure that your RCD that you're testing on your tester is the appropriate type because if it's uh, a type A RCD, you need to test it as a type A, you know, so it's just making sure. Now on these, they will be clearly somewhere on there, it will tell you what type of RCD is. This is actually on the top, so you can just about see it, but you won't actually be able to catch it on the camera. Um, so. Like I said, energise it up. We've got that circuit on, so that's connected to my socket here. Now, I don't know whether this is going to trip out. The high chances it will do, but equally, it's highly unlikely that this has ever been had the test button pressed or anything like that, so we don't know. So we'll rattle through our testing. I always just put it on auto, and we'll start cycling through. Okay, so it's also important not to quickly just bang bang the, the, the RCD back up as fast as you possibly can because obviously it, it gets hot when it's doing doing its testing procedures. So just, just give it a second, just, just slowly put it back up. So on here, so we've got one times, uh, so we've got one times at, at naught cycles and then at 180 degrees, 16.8. And then you've got at uh, five times, 21.1 milliseconds and 14.2. So on, on that, so 25.3, rattle through that again, sorry. So you record your higher results. So yeah, that's passed. So we know that that RCD is functioning correctly. So we're okay. And then the last test on there is to do your actual functional test, which is pressing that button to make sure that the client can come in here and make sure that that's okay and it's tripping out, it's not stuck. So, let's write that down before I forget. Because 
guaranteed I'm going to I'm gonna go and forget that. and that is 63 amps which is that so sorry girls and boys okay right so that's done so right so overall is this going to pass no. I'm not happy with that. So I'm not happy with the the board cover doesn't work. That's not the right breaker for it. It's not attached properly. I've also got a gap on the board there because it just doesn't fit properly. Um, also, we've got, there's no earthing for your sockets. I'm not happy with that on the face plates. They're, you know, minor little things but they need to be done. Also, that the armour's not actually earthed. It's not earthed at that end, or it's not earthed at this end. So that needs to be sorted. The other thing is, is I've got, now that the only means of escape in this, this building is out through there. I've got no fire clips across the top. They're easily rectifiable, and it's the same as up here. So where you've got your wiring across there, just put some fire clips across the top just put those in. Um, like I say, there's lots of little little bits and bobs that you can do to improve. Now, that being said, it would make a really, really nice building uh, and it just needs sorted. Same as the, the supply here. Supply coming down, coming down the garden all the way along, that's got to be sorted. That's a mass, I don't know why the hell someone's done that. Just, just chucked it on the floor, so I don't, I don't get that at all. Um, laziness, I'm guessing. So we're down to sort that out anyway. But in the eyes of testing this out, that's that's where we're at. So that's this one done. I'm now going to go into the garage uh, and have a look at that. But uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to leave it there and. Uh, and that's, that's basically where we're at. So like I say, the video is sponsored by Tradeify. Go and check them out. I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, do the 14 day trial. Just set up some dummy things. It is, it is You won't regret it, honestly. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Like I say, I do massively promote all about mental health. Share it to people, because you never know, it might change somebody else's life never know so hope you enjoyed it and we shall catch you on the next one cheers guys